Okay, today I'm going to show you how to create your wall in Wallwisher and then how to publish it in your Postgres blog, okay? So it's very simple. You go to www.wallwisher.com. Then as you can see here at the top, you have build a wall. So click on it. You're going to complete your name and your email. Then what you do is you create a, um, an address for your wall. So let's imagine I'm going to um, create a wall about books. So, okay, books. Uh, I want everyone to be able to view my wall and I want everyone to be able to post sticky notes. Then the wall becomes more interactive. Okay, so I'm going to select the background for my wall. So I'm going to select this one, a notepad, and click on Done. Okay, sorry, I haven't checked. Okay, I haven't selected a title, it says. Okay, sorry, so let's move on. Great books. Subtitle, so I'm going to interesting books. Okay, let's delete the rest. I'm going to click here to select an image. I can upload an image from my computer or use one which is here. So let's see. Okay, so I'm going to choose this one close I think I can click in done now it's submitting the form oh, it's too short six characters long okay great books okay so the wall is ready now they're going to take me to okay so this is my wall so I'm going to double click here. I'm going to write a message. Uh, my book I loved was so was oops. Okay, I think I have to rewrite. Mm hmm a book I loved was the Da Vinci Code. Now what I can do here at the bottom I can add a link to a page which talks about the Da Vinci Code for example. Okay, So as soon as I'm done then I click in OK. So you see I haven't added the link but I could have. What I can also do, ok I'm going to click on Edit because I can see I haven't added my name here at the top, so it's anonymous. So I'm going to write my name at the top, click on OK. So you can edit all sticky notes you have created. OK, so you can change its position and organize the wall as well. Now, the address here at the top is your wall address, your wall URL. So I'm going to, uh, OK, what I'm going to do so I can send this link and post it in Edmodo. Okay. Now what I'm also going to do, I'm going to click in Do More. And then I have Embed. So I click Embed. I'm going to copy this Embed code. So Control C. I close it. Okay. Now I'm going to post it to post at posters.com my wall wisher I've just created a wall wisher where people can share great books 
below I'm going to paste the embed code I have copied so control V to end my post oops again I always do this okay the symbol and and I send it to postress okay as you can see wall wisher has sent me a message an email message with my wall details so if I save this email then I always know my wall uh, URL so it's right here so I still have to wait for the email from Postress all right so here it is the Postress email I click here so I'm going to view my new post okay not necessary Okay, here it is. This is my Postress blog. Okay, this is my wall with my sticky note. Okay, people can also participate in the wall by clicking on post a sticky and then they will be able to post a sticky note here as well. Okay, remember that you can always, always edit uh, what you have written in your post by going back to your email and click here to edit then you can edit the size of your font so this is what I'm going to do not now so I'm going to increase the font size a bit okay so I guess that's it I save